All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, rule well and teach well. And salutations to you, hopeful elect Akim, who are pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim, Harakakwadash, Brakatha to you, brothers, man. <clears throat> so this video. Uh, is inspired first off through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right, <clears throat> the elder brother out there in uh, Hawaii, the head of the Hawaii camp, has a uh, video that I just want to go ahead and do a response and a land back uh, off of. <clears throat> so it says, U.S. economy will soon start losing 175,000 jobs a month. Bank. Of America warns. <clears throat> so when I when I heard that, uh, I thought of Jeremiah chapter fifty one, uh, specifically the eighth verse. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna start uh, at the top. I'm actually gonna read the first verse and then play the video. Jeremiah fifty one. And one, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind and will send upon Babylon fanners as shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble. They shall be against her round about. So th this right what we're seeing now this this breaking down of people losing, you know, jobs and, you know, the, the housing market going belly up. This is just the beginning of these sorrows that are going to eventually lead Slakia to this place being destroyed, you know? So let me go ahead and play this Slakia. for teaching work, the truth and sincerity for ruling well, and salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai. It is the brother Gabar Yahweh Da from GMS Hawaii. Coming to you with an update. This is from the Smithsonian. Uh, I'm sorry, the SmithMountainLink.com. It is all over the uh, internet from CNN to um, other websites. And I noticed that a lot of that information got filtered down to the local news websites as well. It says the U.S. Economy will soon start losing 175,000 jobs a month. Bank of America warns. Okay, and this is the times that we're coming in. We're coming into the times where things are about to be really, really, really um, um, tragic for this place, Babylon the Great. You know, especially with these jobs being few and far in between. You know, everybody wants to be a, 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 a economics and financial mogul and guru telling you to just do this and just do that or well, the reality of things are start about to start biting all right 175 and uh you know that's true because you see jake now jake got this spirit of uh he got this spirit of entrepreneurship right jake think that all right i got an llc a Roth IRA, all this other thing. I mean, shit. You know, Jake hundreds of years behind. He don't. He don't understand. See, the two thirds of Israel don't understand it. Oh, this is it, right? We at the end. We at the end of this thing. Okay, so it, it's like a sandcastle. He, you got all these people. You got all these people building up these elaborate ass sandcastles. And we're and we're telling you, starting off with the elder apostles of Great Millstone, hey, there's a big ass wave coming. So you see, so you see us, you know, we of course we got our sand castles too, but they simple. All right? We built a simple a very simple sand castle. Right? We got we got a job. Right? That some of us, you know, got uh families. Okay, got a simple car. Everything is on a is on a basic level. We're not really, you know, we're not really trying to elaborate too much. And the world uh, likes to call us uh, bums for that. Oh, y'all, y'all aren't, uh, 
applying yourselves in in the rest of it. In which, you know, it's funny because everyone that comes across brothers, right, and many brothers can attest to this, whether you're around heathens or whether you're around other Israelites, people tell you all the time that you they don't even know you. They may hear you, they may hear you have a conversation for six seconds and they're like, you know, you're smart. You're a very you're a very smart guy. You're a very smart individual. You know, I like the way you think. You got your head screwed on straight. You know, they th hey man, if if things um if uh if things were different, we would actually be running this uh this place. Right, brothers, like if this place wasn't about to be destroyed soon, brothers would be in way higher positions than they are now. We just at the end of this thing, we this place is about to be destroyed. So you're not gonna see, you know, you're not gonna see a brother preaching on the highways and byways, you know, on a Monday and then on a Tuesday, he he in a, a CEO meeting for a multi million dollar you know, corporation or something like that. That's not happening. The Lord is choosing the lowly, right? And once again, like I said, especially now, because you had you had brothers in the 80s, 90s, right, in which uh, the small business was way more prevalent, you know, basically uh, prior to these big retailers and whatnot. You know, I remember when I was a kid, if you wanted a, sh a shoe repaired, you went to the shoe repair shop. If you wanted your, your taxes done, you go to, you know, a, a tax place and all that. Now they have these different corporations that do everything. Right. So that's why that's why I said that, that especially now we're going to be in the lowest. But we're going to be in the lowest position possible. You know. Right now, Jake, even though we're spiritually, we're at our highest point in understanding and in knowledge. You know what I mean? We're at our we're at our lowest point in the eyes of the world. You know, they really do see these people really do think that we're bums, man. That's okay. Shit, I'll be a bum as as, as long as I'm the elect. That should be the mindset. Fuck the opinions of these people. They're going to be destroyed anyways, man. All right, what is what is the Heavenly Father talking about? The Heavenly Father is talking about prophecy. All right, the Heavenly Father is talking about this place being surrounded and bombarded. Not just not just jump, man. It's, this place is not going to be uh, healed back up. It's falling, and it's going to continue to fall. Okay, Jake, Jake think he's going to you know, find some way out. The only way out is the Lord coming back with them chariots. A thousand jobs, that's a lot of jobs, you know? But guess what? Um, um, That's just the beginning of the loss that's coming to this place, all right? It says uh, the Fed, the Federal Reserve fight to squash, or yeah, to squash inflation will cause the U.S. economy to start losing tens of thousands of jobs a month beginning early next year. Bank of America warns, although the job market remained surprisingly strong in September, the Fed is working hard to change that by aggressively raising interest rates to ease demand for everything from cars and homes to appliances. The pace of the job growth is expected to be roughly cut in half during the fourth quarter of this year. Bank of America, America told clients in the report Friday, says a pressure from the Fed war on inflation bills non-farm payrolls will be shrinking early next year, translating to a loss of 175,000 jobs a month during the first quarter. The bank said charts published by the Bank of America suggest job losses will continue through much 2023. So 2023 is going to be a hard year. You know, and I, I was saying this at camp, that dude Kanye West with all the bullshit and fervor that he's bringing with him, um, he's been walking around with a 2023 hat on. And I was trying to figure out what was the significance because 
It's not a presidential election. Um, I don't think it happened in 2023. Um, he's not running for presidency, you know, but what does he know? You know, and plus, you know, it's spiritual that right now this nigga's catching all kinds of flat for just being the weirdo he is, you know, but this is not about him. The point of the matter is 2023 is looking and shaping up to be going to be a terrible year and good because we, we ready to get the hell up out of here. That's man. right. And That's right. We ready to get the fuck up out of here, man. Excuse my language. You know, forget, forgive me. But you think about it, man. Let's let's get the fuck up out of here, man. You know, it don't it don't matter if we have a good day at work. It don't matter if our woman ain't complaining that particular day, or the traffic is light that particular day, or the dinner that you had was you know pretty decent that particular day. You know, nothing, the best day, the the best day ever here is going to be when the Lord comes back. Everything else is BS, man. All right. This is not, this is nothing but just, you know, filthy, dirty rags. The days we're, uh, you know, living right now. And the Elder Apostle Gabar constantly says that the spirit is constantly on him to say that he's never lived. We've never lived. We have never lived. You other, you other, you other nations, man. Y'all have never lived. Okay. <laughs> and E, we never gonna get started on you. Your ass is going into captivity. Okay, you you going into captivity? And see, E, he gonna be the number one group of people trying to jumpstart this place. I mean, that nigga's trying to jumpstart this place now. Well, let's all come together. Here, here it is. This nigga has ruined everything. He's de he's destroyed the entire world. All of a sudden, he want to gather together and join hands. All right? Nah, nigga. You about to feel that wrath. We about to be in them, we about to be in them times, man. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful time to be to be alive. Jake, you know, Jake, Jake nervous. Jake contemplating all these things. When you when you go anywhere, right? You go anywhere. Jake, Jake is nervous. Jake, is, oh, what's happening? What are we gonna do? All right. Ain't no ain't ain't, ain't no we. All right, the two the two thirds in the elect of Israel are separate. All right, the elect is holy, so it's okay to look down upon our own people. That that's our job. If you looking down, if you looking down on your own people, you in a good position. You know all that. Everybody's included. You know, every every everybody come together. Nah, that's not the case, man. We need some separation up in here. All right, let me uh, continue to play this. The money ain't going to keep coming in. The will ain't going to keep turning for this place. And there ain't no recovery. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what number that was, but there's no recovery for this place. All right? And this place is going to be destroyed. The place is going to be taken down and ultimately destroyed by Yahweh Bashim al from the inside out. So... I got a precept. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now the, the creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. The, uh, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And that's what a lot of people do. They wait to all, you know, they get old. They wait for the evil times, which evil means bad, bad times to come. And then they want to try to seek the Lord. But the Lord... How about Shema Shah tells us what? To remember our, our creator and, the, and our youth, man. When you got shrimp before all hell breaks loose. You know, because there's no faith in that. You're just looking for a way out at that point. And the Lord also said that in the day of the Lord's power, his people shall be willing. Thy people shall be willing. Willing to do what? Willing to listen. Willing to adhere. Willing to learn. 
The Lord also said that when affliction come, the people, his people are going to try to seek his face, but they're not going to find it. He also said, I will go back to my place till they acknowledge their sins and seek my face. In the time of their affliction, they shall seek me early. And you see that all the time. You know, everybody's, it's just been a big bubble of people chasing the bag, trying to get money, worshiping money, worshiping this world, doing whatever they wanted to do. And now, 175,000 jobs a month, that's a lot of jobs, man. They claim that it's only, what, 3.300 and something million people in America. You know, everybody ain't working here. You know, um, even Social Security is trying to um, make a, the highest uh, cost of living um, advance or whatever since, it's in, since, I think, what, 60 years? Why? Because inflation is real. And then they say they're going to raise rates. They're going to raise rates. Like, that's going to help it. And I think it was an economist or some type of money guru here. He even said that 2023 is going to be a hard year, man. You know, it's going to be crucially hard. You know, things are changing. Uh, uh, um, things are happening. Back in uh, Ecclesiastes 12, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinding grinders cease because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened and then those grinders when you go to the incliner, incliner says uh for grinders um Salaki. In the day when the tremble to keep us the house and they shall bow themselves, men are strong and seize and the grinders. That word for grinders, the Hebrew word there is uh tahan, which is grind, crush, mill, uh being it says that being their employment. You know, so you grinding, you going to work grinding, we call that grinding. To be a concubine, you got a lot of women that's selling that pee. You know? Boy, that's going to be ceasing. So, you know, people going to definitely try to be seeking the Lord then. Oh, let me pray to God. Let me pray to Jesus. Let me pray to Ali Akbar's. Let me pray to, you know, hey, if you want to try to pray to Yahweh, I'll show you how shy, man. But it's going to be too late. And what comes with that? Um, unemployment, crime is going to run rampant. Men going to be out here doing whatever they want to do out here. You know? The humility is going to start approaching you people. Because these people are walking in pride. You know? So I just wanted to bring this out. I hope you're edified. I want you to know. <clears throat> He's right. What the fuck are they talking about? See, look, and look. Uh, you got this guy, and you know, he's talking about uh, his, his investments and all this shit. He got 12, uh, 12 thumbs up. See, basically 12 scoffers. Right, please list the platform. Here it is. You you got you got the elder brother from Hawaii going into how this place is is done. It's through. And you still have people on the comment board, you know, putting up stuff like this.
Oh, I just, I just got this. I just got that car, that car. All right, prosperity. All right, this this place is fucking through. All right, uh, Jeremiah fifty one and three. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So, you're going to have Jake out there on the front lines. And you other nations too, you uh, you other nations, right, who, who uh, uh, stay here in, in Babylon the Great, your ass going out there too. You putting on that uniform. It says, <clears throat> verse 4, Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are and they that are thrust through in her streets. Thrust through. It's about to, man, it's about to get crazy out here, man. <clears throat> 1114, Thawada Yabashim Yabashim. Right. <clears throat> Verse five, it says, for Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power of the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. So even though even though we, you know, we went off. OK, we went through what we went through. All right. The Lord all right, has not forsaken Israel. And why is that? Because the Heavenly Father is sending his only begotten son to save the elect. You know, that's and that's something that, you know, was uh, established from the foundation of the earth. The heavenly father, when he created Yahweh, right, his, his infinite wisdom and his infinite knowledge knew that eventually Israel was going to come on the scene. It's, it's not like it's not like he, he don't know. What's taking place? The Most High knows knows what's going on. He knows, right? He 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 knows. Okay, the two thirds, they you know they're gonna perish. The nations, the nations, they're gonna you know they're gonna rile up, get angry. They're gonna perish. All right, there's gonna be missiles. All of this is already pre-plan and predetermined <clears throat> verse 6 flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense uh, which is payback <laughs> you know so you're gonna have and the other nations see they know that so they're about to go back. See these um so-called Vietnamese, right? These so-called Cambodians and whatnot. The so-called East Indian man, so-called Chinese man, so-called Japanese man, so on and so forth, the so-called African. They're gonna be going back to their land. Right? Especially the ones that are a little bit more wealthy and they're more quote unquote in the know. They're gonna uh they're gonna catch wind of what's taking place and they're gonna get up out of here. Verse seven Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations were mad. Alright, so Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. It was it was the Lord's purpose, you know, to make this place, uh, this grand, this grand, elaborate scheme, and then for this to all come tumbling down. All right, <clears throat> a spiritual Ponzi scheme. It says that made all the earth drunken. So you can go to uh, what do you call that place? You can go to Madagascar. They're influenced by the so-called white man. You can go anywhere in the world. Right? This this nigga has a has a <laughs> has a chokehold. 
on that area, wherever it is. It says, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And that's, that's that special, that's that, that's that special philosophy, man. All right, because the wine that Babylon is kicking, that's, that's some strong, that's some strong juice. Right? They're bugging out. They're tripping out. Like, if you've ever seen somebody who's real drunk, they start, you know, they start bucking and, and, and tripping out. And nothing you can tell them will calm them down. They're just tripping. All right? Verse 9, it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Yeah, so if it was up to them, they just, hey, they press a button and everything would be good. All right. And so these this so-called 1%, <clears throat> it's, um, it's in their spirit to want to just uh, destroy and to degrade this place. Yet you have the, uh, uh, ten, you know, quote-unquote 10%. The 20%. They want to keep this place going. They're like, man, you know, let's 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 get some programs going. Let's do some let's do some different things. And the one percent, the quote unquote one percent, they not hearing it. Right? They don't want to hear that shit. They <laughs> they want this place, they want this place to be destroyed. Right, not in the same capacity that we do. They want this place to be destroyed morally. Right, they want this place destroyed on an emotional, physical, you know, spiritual level. They just want, really, they just want uh, people to be dead inside <clears throat> and to be robots. <clears throat> that's that's demonic. That's some demonic activity. You just want slaves, you know, for 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 your system. <clears throat> but it's the Lord's determination that He's gonna He's gonna stop that man. He's gonna put an end to that. <clears throat> it says, "Forsake her and let us go, every one in his own country, for her judgment reacheth under heaven and is lifted up even to the skies." So <laughs> they can see it. They're like, man. Let's get out of here. Like we, when you go, you know, when you go somewhere and you you can you can feel the tension. You know, Jake back in the day, Jake Jake go to a party. You go to a party, you know, it's cool, it's cool. Then all of a sudden, you know, the eight eight niggas show up, and they you know, all of a mean mugging. You know, it looked like a couple of them is clutching. It's time to go. <laughs> All right, don't don't stick around and, and find out, you know what's about to take place. That that's what these other nations are doing. They're like, shit, it's time to go. They pack, they packing up. They're like, all right, let's let's get up out of here. Nothing to see here, right? Yeah, we want, hey, we want to stay. All right, I'm not going nowhere. I want to, I want to, hey, I want to witness the downfall of my enemy. That's a beautiful thing to behold. The downfall of our enemy. The downfall and who who is a part of our uh uh our list of enemies also. Not only the other 17 nations, but also the two-thirds of Israel as well. You are our enemy, right? Lord's will are you sincere brothers of are of that number, that elect number. And you few sisters also, because you 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 sisters, right? You Israelite women who are, who are in order, okay? You are part of that one thirds, so you have an enemy too, right? And what uh, uh, Israelite woman you know who who's in order? She should see the two thirds Israelite woman as her enemy. Period. Period. Point blank. All right. It's time to separate. It's time to separate. From Jake, Jake, Jake wanna, Jake wanna uh, be here forever, man. Jake just wanna, Jake just wanna uh, quote unquote live his life, 
live his best life and stay here doing customs, celebrating Halloween and, and, and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all this other such stuff, man. When the Lord is literally seconds away from coming back. Verse 10. <clears throat> the Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our power. So declare in Zion. Right? We're looking at the elect of Israel. Okay? That's what we're declaring. Right? That's what we're declaring. We're, decla we're declaring that there is an elect of Israel. That the Lord finds them in, in, uh, to, to a certain degree of importance. You know, our lives matter. You know, you got people saying, uh, uh, you know, BLM. You got people saying uh, WLM. You got people saying ALM. Nah, man. ELM elect <laughs> elect elect lives matter that's it hey, hey everybody else toast might as well forget about it man that's what it's about it's about the elect the lord is coming back for the elect okay and then in the kingdom the two thirds of israel they're going to be born through through the loins of the elect so that's where they, you know, that's where they get their, um, you know, bounce back. Let me end on. Uh, let me end on that. So Romans. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer. Right, Yahweh Shai. Right, He deliver. He, uh, he is salvation. Okay, it says it shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So that's what we need. We need the Lord basically to come back and to make us beautiful again. <clears throat> Because, hey, the two-thirds of Israel just busted. Just busted. Just like an ugly chick. Right? And the elect right now is like a, is like a, a girl that you see. And she, she looked good, but she still got some flaws. Right? Like, she may, you know, she may be curvaceous. You know, beautiful smile. Uh, you know, all these other things yet you know she she got a crooked nose <laughs> you know what i mean a one ear is bigger than the other you know something like that so we we not we not perfect right we we can do all these uh we can do all these uh, uh quote unquote good things right we can have faith we can fast pray follow the laws take the commandments but until the lord gets back we not perfect Right. All right. Now we now we are perfect in you. How about Shimei Shai? That's because you have by Shimei Shai is perfect. And if his spirit, right, is with you, then you perfect. Right. And and it, with us having that uh, spirit in us, we're going to uh, have a hatred of the two thirds, right, and of the other nations. Right, because on this side, we going yeah, we gonna have a hatred towards two thirds and towards the other nations. Yeah, basically, the two thirds they're in the same category as the other nations right now, because they're gonna face the same fate. But after the, once again, when the Lord comes back, the elect are going to be right perfect. Okay. And the two thirds are going to be destroyed. Then they're going to come through the loins of the elect and be perfect. That's what it's all about. Okay, so we have to continue to suffer. We have to continue to push forward, man.
And Lord's will, the Heavenly Father rewards us. All right, so I hit my point on the video. Uh, the elder brother, uh, elder brother uh, Gabar, his page is GMS Hawaii Ba. All right, subscribe to his uh, page and be edified. <clears throat> okay, so with that, all praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. The to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, rule well, teach well, taught me this truth. And a sincere salutation to you, hopeful like I came out there, man. Keep pushing, stay strong. All right, and a bob, a bob, a ball, DTA. We almost up out of here very, very soon. All right, Shalom.